Hello everyone, Joe G here, Uscreen product manager. I want to show you the process of working with Uscreen to build apps. To do this, I'm going to use my own internal example account called Painterly Impressions. As you can see, I am a painter and I like to record videos when I do my paintings. So I'm working with Uscreen for pretend to monetize these videos. And Uscreen is going to build my Roku TV app for me for painterly impressions. In this video specifically, I will show you the process of setting up a Roku developer account. Before I create the Roku developer account, I want to show you that I have the painterly impressions Uscreen storefront set up. I already have my catalog that's ready to go with my videos and collections and categories. And I also created the terms of conditions, privacy policy and contact information. Also, when you sign up for painterly impressions, I've already created the monthly and yearly subscriptions. Now this is important because Uscreen has this help article that says how to submit app requirements. And it summarizes how clients work with Uscreen to create apps, in this case, the Roku TV app. So let me scroll down. I first, of course, set up my Uscreen site with the catalog, subscriptions, terms and conditions, privacy policy, and contact page. And now I'm ready to set up the Roku developer account. Creating a Roku developer account is a four-step process, which I'm going to walk you through in a few moments. But just to summarize, first, I will create a Roku account and link my Roku device, which I have here. I will enroll in the Roku developer program. I will enroll in the Roku partner payouts. Finally, I will give Uscreen access to the developer account because Uscreen will use this to build the actual Roku TV app for painterly impressions. So let's begin. Okay, I will create a Roku account online. Create account, name, email, password, date of birth. I agree. I am not a robot. Continue. Pin preferences. Let's always require a pin to make purchases and we will put in a pin. Gotta write this down so I don't forget. Continue. Enter payment information. I'm gonna do this off camera and come right back. And I'll scroll down and enter in the billing information. Save and continue. Great, so it looks like I have successfully now created my Roku account. Next, I will link my Roku device. Okay, to now link the Roku device, I'm gonna see these directions below, and I'm gonna flip over to my actual TV and Roku device and follow these steps. Here I am on my TV with my Roku device connected. I have my remote and my Roku device is connected to my local Wi-Fi network. Linking a Roku device is an important step because when Uscreen builds the Roku app, in my case for painterly impressions, I need the Roku device in order to preview the app. So I will follow the directions in the documentation to activate and link my Roku device. Here I am on home. I'll go to streaming channels, get started, and enter my email. And this is the email where I created my Roku developer account. Please check your inbox. I received this message from Roku saying, activate your device, name your device. We'll call this Roku Ultra. And this is in my office. I agree, continue. It looks like Roku is asking me some steps here. I'm going to breeze through here. I'll scroll down to the bottom and press continue. And it looks like my device is now activated, set up complete, done. 
And now back on my TV, I can see link to Roku account was successful. Okay. And it looks like it's updating my Roku device with the channels and the selections that I just made online. Great. And now I have successfully linked my Roku device to my account. The next step is to enroll in the developer program where I will enter in information, enroll as an organization, and agree to the distribution policy. Roku developer program. Are you enrolling as an individual or a company? Uscreen recommends to enroll as a company because the company name is what appears as the developer in the Roku channel. And enrolling as a company ensures that Uscreen and your account have all of the correct privileges to build the Roku app. So make sure to enroll as a company. Painterly impressions. I'll enter in my name and the legal contact, the legal contact phone, and the legal contact email. I also need to enter my address. I have read and agree to the application distribution agreement. Continue. Congratulations, you have successfully enrolled as a Roku developer. To begin monetizing your channels, complete your profile by enrolling in the Partner Payouts Program. Next, I will enroll in the Roku Partner Payouts Program. And this is an important step in the process because it allows me to monetize on the Roku publishing platform and get payouts. And of course, payouts come when users sign up and purchase a subscription through Roku. So let's enroll on the dashboard. Here on the dashboard, on the bottom left, I will go to payment settings, Roku partner program. Yes, I would like to provide payout information, monetizing on the Roku platform. Please complete the payout information to enroll. So let me show you what this looks like. I will provide my address, payment method, and tax forms. And importantly, I'm going to make sure that my type of account is set to a company. All of my address information looks correct. I will now enter in my bank information. And for the tax forms, I will select the tax form. In my case, I'm going to be doing a W-9 for U.S. individuals or entities. Complete tax form. And again, I'm going to do this off camera because it's a lot of personal information. Great. So I just completed and submitted the tax forms. And when I submitted, I was brought back to the Roku developers dashboard and see this. Congratulations. You have successfully enrolled in the Roku Partner Payouts Program. The last step in setting up the Roku Developer account is to give Uscreen access to the Developer account. So let me come back to my Roku Developer dashboard. I will scroll to the bottom left to User Access, add a user and enter in the uscreen ott at uscreen.com email address. They will be an administrator and the organization is uscreen. Create, invite successfully sent, okay. And I can see the uscreen user with their email address is successfully added and activated as an administrator. So at this point, I have successfully set up my Roku developer account. I created the account and linked the device. I enrolled in the developer program. I enrolled in the partner payout program where I entered in the payout information and submitted my tax information. And I just added Uscreen as an administrator user to the account. 